Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video. Today is scrap five, so we need to use two or three long tags, a stencil, make and use an embellishment, twine, and splatter. So this is the second page I'm doing with my P13 uh, kit from Redefine Creative. And I have two photos here. I'm trimming them down into four by fours so that I have a little bit more room for layering. Uh, I loved this kind of tan rainbow pattern. I really love how this looks with the photos, but the more I ended up working, uh, part of me wanted to hoard it is the problem, <laughs> but I ended up not using that one at all. I actually used this floral um, that's behind that tan paper as my background. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do yet. I went ahead and just matted both of those in white. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out a, a long tag. This is the longest tag that I have. Lisa actually sent this to me and it already has a gold hole reinforcer on it, which is perfect for this collection. I've really enjoyed pulling gold into this collection. I think it's really, really pretty and I think it also goes with the wedding theme. So I'm gonna do a little bit of mixed media on this tag. I didn't want it to just be white because my background is so white. So I decided to go in with some Heidi Swap gold texture paste and a dry brush and just brush that gold up the white tag. And I think that adds a really cool effect. <laughs> I wanted some kind of color there so that when I went in with my stenciling in white, it would show up a little better. Um, so I'm just trying to get and figure out how far I want this gold to go up this tag, I kind of figured I wanted it a little bit like around halfway and then some of it brushing up a little bit higher. And then this is a little plus sign stencil. I'm just gonna go in with my Ranger uh, white uh, opaque matte texture paste and go through that stencil with that so I have this little plus sign. <laughs> um, I think this is really cute. I end up covering up most of this tag and so I tell myself to go in with this stencil and texture paste on other areas of the page and then I forget. So this is how I'm using the stencil for today. <laughs> I'm glad I got it on the page, um, but I kind of wish it was a little bit more prevalent. So um, we'll see how it comes along. I'm deciding now if I want to use this floral versus this really pretty lighter paper. Um, and that's what I end up going with. I'm carrying my bouquet. This is when I'm walking down the aisle and I just feel like the floral background really goes with that theme. Uh, I was really excited about this page. The last page I did, I used that big uh, rectangular doily um, and the glassine bag from the packaging. I thought it would be really cool on this page if I used the P13 packaging that the ephemera came in. It has this really sweet pink scallop detail on the bottom. Uh, and since I trimmed these photos into four by four as they actually do fit on <laughs> these packaging pieces pretty nicely. Um, so that's actually gonna be my next mat around each photo. The packaging isn't wide enough to completely mat the four by four. So I do have some gaps um, between those two packaging pieces. So I'm just planning on there being embellishment there um, to cover the gap. So I'm just going through some ephemera here and trying to figure out what's on theme. It is really tricky using um, this collection for wedding because although it looks very wedding and it goes so well for um, this theme, it is very craft oriented. There's a lot of knitting sentiments, crafting sentiments, handmade sentiments. Um, so it's really hard to kind of make it make sense for wedding. So I'm trying to be strategic about how I use certain elements. A lot of the ones that are more floral obviously will go, um, but a lot of the tickets that I'm really wanting to use, it says uh, handmade or create or time for knitting. Um, and obviously that doesn't really go. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to just figure out how I can use these really cool uh, ephemera pieces without it pulling away from it being a wedding layout. Uh, but I love this floral ticket running up the top that covers up the gap uh, that I had for that packaging mat on the top. And then I have some fussy cut items from the 12 by 12 that had fussy cutting stuff on the back. Uh, so I'm planning on a couple of those florals covering the gap. Um, on the bottom. So my gaps are covered from using the packaging. I'm really, really happy I got those packaging pieces used up. I think it adds such a really cool touch. And again, it's just so satisfying when you can use packaging as extra supplies. So I'm glad I got that up. I'm just going through and trying to figure out what I want to do next. I really want to use the greeny, minty, um, chipboard frames to the left there. I really wanted to use those on the first layout and I didn't. Um, so I'm thinking I'll pull in the, the chipboard frames on this one. And I really, really want to use the really sweet um, pink star 
uh, ephemera pieces. I think those will add a re really cool texture. <laughs> so I'm just trimming up my 12 by 12 now that I know where I'm working from. I'm going to start placing. I kind of want it in the middle of the page, kind of towards the bottom right hand corner. I know I need to have the two to three tags and while my one tag is drying I'm thinking I'll cut a long tag out of some other supplies but I'm thinking the tags will run up the right side of the page behind these layers so that's kind of my plan I went ahead and pulled in the three pink stars to kind of map out where I might want my my three clusters and I'm wanting to form a visual triangle with those so you'll see them shift around a little bit I really like the idea of one being to the bottom left of the left hand corner one being up there by the pink tickets um, but i don't like the placement of the third in the upper right hand corner because it doesn't create a visual triangle so i'll shift it to the left corner of the page so you really have a visual triangle with those pink stars framing the layout and here's where i'm pulling in some of these frames i'm definitely going to be trimming this one up because so much of it is hidden so i can try to get an extra frame out of it <laughs> but for right now I'm just trying to lay everything out and see where I like it and I love the way those frames look with those stars I think it adds so much dimension and texture um, so I'm just trying to play around with how I want that I do just want to mention this is my first um, voiceover back since we lost Billy Billy passed away from his cancer a couple weeks ago and I had some pre-recorded videos so you may not have noticed scheduling wise because videos went up when they were supposed to because they had some already recorded but just for the next couple videos if I'm not as <laughs> chipper um, that's why it, it was it's been really hard <laughs> so um, just gonna keep trying to push through I really have used scrapbooking as a coping mechanism so I have a lot of pages done it's just hard um, to do the voiceovers right now <laughs> so I just wanted to get that out of the way in case I don't sound normal. <laughs> but I am going in with this other cluster. This is where I'm trying to use those tags. You can see the theme is not great <laughs> because one of them says uh, create, inspire, and dream. I kind of felt as long as you couldn't see the create, the inspire, and the dream could be on theme. So I'm just planning on having the create word of that bottom ticket tucked behind this cluster down here. Um, covered up by that little pink star that way that word doesn't you know distract or confuse <laughs> you can't really you you can read the other two words but at least those are more on theme but I really like having that ticket element uh, filling out the cluster to the left there um, and now I'm trying to glue down some of these other stars <laughs> um, the flower I fussy cut down at the bottom I did pop up on some foam so that has some dimension um, and that's kind of where I'm at. I really like where my clusters are. I'm just trying to get things glued down because there's too many moving pieces right now with everything uh, not stuck down to each other. <laughs> so you can see where I trimmed the bottom part of that frame. I will shift that into my third cluster that will end up being in the upper left hand corner. And I like that too because each of those pink stars have that minty frame with it and they all form that visual triangle which really pleases my eye <laughs> and really helps balance the page. So that makes me happy um, and now I'm just fussy cutting in some additional items that I can use <laughs> so I tried to do a lot of the fussy cutting of elements I knew I would use for each page or thought I might use for each page ahead of time so you didn't have to watch all of it um, but kind of as I go I find more pieces I might want to use so <laughs> um, that's another one of those square quilted blocks from that one pattern paper you guys saw me use on my last one I thought I might add it in just as an extra layer but i end up not doing that <laughs> um because i go down a different route but i don't know that yet so i now i'm trying to figure out the tags i'm trying to keep an eye on my scrap five so here's one tag i definitely knew i wanted it coming out of the right side here i love how that pop of gold looks i love how that texture kind of peeks through the side here i went ahead and thread the twine um the tags with gold and white twine so that takes care of the twine from my scrap five but I do need at least one more long tag so what I decided to do was actually pull in uh, some vellum I don't know if I used I don't think I used the vellum on the first page but I do pull in some <laughs> vellum from Karen that's in kind of that minty green family and decide to make a tag out of that this little gold tag here i just added was also from lisa i'm trying to sneak in some more gold elements from her but i end up saving that for another page this month um, but that's where that little tag came from but this uh green vellum here is from karen 
and I thought it would be really cool to add a long tag in this vellum color. I kind of go between two greens, but the green I go with I like because it's got this uh, really light line pattern, so it's not just a plain color. It gives you some extra texture with the, the pattern that's on it. So I'm just trimming that into a really long tag, and that will be my second tag on the layout. So I'm just going to trim this up into its correct shape. Um, just using that other tag as a guide for the corners and then I will just glue a goal a, a white hole reinforcer on this one So just takes me a minute to get that together with the scallop detail of the packaging that is below uh, My photos I kind of thought it would be nice for this tag to have a scallop detail along the bottom as well I almost wanted to tear it at the bottom like I've been doing a lot. I've been loving the torn detail lately um, but I really think with the scallop detail that's already on the page, it would look really nice kind of uh, making that a part of the tag as well. So I'm going to trim this to the length I want and then I'll go in with my little scallop border punch uh, for the bottom of this tag. And I'm just going to layer that behind the other tag. I really love when tags are layered together. So that takes care of the two long tags from my scrap vibe. I got my stencil taken care of. I used my twine. I already know I'm going in with gold Heidi Swap Color Shine at the end, so I, that will take care of my splatter. The only thing I really need that I kind of got stuck on this month was um, making and using an embellishment. I have all this embellishment with this collection, and that's really all I want to use, so I tried to just create a cluster with the embellishment I had and make that handmade embellishment cluster my made embellishment <laughs> versus it would have really been nice if I could have used punches and really created something from scratch. Um, but this is where I was today, so I just decided to use what I had and scraps from what I had to create my third cluster. So my made embellishment will go in the upper left-hand corner just using pieces from this collection uh, that I've used on this page that I kind of wanted pulled into a third area. So that's kind of how I decided to do that. Um, I'm trying to see, oh, I added that tag over there and kind of wanted that green in one more area because it looked like it was standing out. It is in the color scheme, but it is such a different <laughs> look that I wanted it somewhere else to kind of keep the balance. So I did a border punch on a scrap of that vellum and added it to that left-hand corner. Um, and I really like how that looks too. So now I just mapped out on my background where my layers are going to go. Um, I'm trying <laughs> to get eight layouts done this month with this collection because I have eight pages worth of the ceremony which is what I'm trying to document with this collection but I think I only had like six pattern papers in this uh in this kit so uh, I kind of helped myself out that last page I pulled in a wood grain from my stash so that kind of helped me out um, but I'm still trying to be really frugal this month so I can really uh, get eight pages from the six papers I started with so that's kind of why I decided to map that out and save that little bit because I can use that as a mat or a layer on another page and I'm just backing this in my cheap black um, paper just for stability and to fill in that hole um, but now that my background is gutted I can glue down all of these layers and really start finishing up uh, I decided I really loved this gold detail on the tag, but same with the vellum. It was kind of sticking out because it was the only thing on that page that looked like that. So I decided to go in and do the same mixed media technique on the background. I really wanted that brushed gold to follow that horizontal line of the bottom of my layers and then go up vertically behind the vellum tag. So you kind of create this gold L with the mixed media and I think that really helps tie in the tag I already did. It added some color to the background. This layout or this collection in general is very light and airy, which I love. I think it goes so well for wedding, but I needed a little umph to help break up all of the light and airy pieces. Uh, so this really helps. So I'm just going in I'm trying to do multiple layers. I don't want to do too much because you can't really take it back once it's down. So I'm just trying to slowly add the gold. Um, and you'll see me keep pulling in the <laughs> layers to kind of see where it's sitting. So I just keep adding until it shows how I want it to. Um, and I think that was really fun to do too. I was kind of looking through old uh, layouts and old P13 layouts because I love, love, love P13. Um, one of my top collections other than Wolfpack and Moonstruck, <laughs> I think are P13's New Moon and Soulmate. 
Um, so I was kind of looking through the layouts I made when I was playing with those collections to see different techniques I used. And one of my favorite ones I've ever done is the one where I did the gold, the dry brush with the navy paint. Um, and so that really inspired this layout to try and do that with the gold. <laughs> so I'm just letting this dry for a bit and then I'll glue that down. Um, I kind of want to fill in a couple of the layering gaps I'm seeing and I need to do some finishing touches. I also need to create that embellishment that'll go in the upper left hand corner. But I'm just checking my spacing one more time to make sure that the gold's where I need it and then I'll go ahead and glue this stuff down. I probably in hindsight should have went ahead and did the splatter now, <laughs> um, but it's okay. It turns out okay doing it at the end. But it would have been a lot safer to just do the splatter then before I glued down all my layers and my pictures. But here you can kind of see how the layout's coming together. It's kind of bothering me. I feel like there's this gap um, to the left of the tags up at the top of those photos. So I pull in a scrap of a doily just to layer behind those tickets. Um, and I, I think that looks really nice. And I also kind of want doilies on, they don't have to be on every page, but I think the lacy white detail of a doily really goes with wedding. So <laughs> I thought that was another detail I wanted to add in. So you'll see that in a bit too. I don't know where I went right now. <clears throat> I'm fiddling with something. I'm trying to see. Oh, I'm finding the doily. That's what I was doing. So I'm just going to trim a little piece of a doily. I just glued all of this down, so I don't want to pull it all back up to tuck a doily behind all these layers. Uh, but all I need is kind of that corner of a doily just to tuck into that little section. I think that makes a world of a difference in that cluster. It really helps beef it out and add some more texture. And now I'm going to focus in the upper left hand corner and create my little embellishment cluster. So I know I want to use this extra piece of the frame I saved. I want to use that last uh, star embellishment. And I know I want to pull in some word stickers from that sticker sheet. I'm really trying to use those word stickers on every page. <laughs> and so um, that's kind of my plan is to create this little cluster with these leftovers um, to go up there. So I went ahead and added the splatter. You can see my embellishment I'm making there at the top. I'm just trying to figure out any other embellishments pieces or femur pieces I might want to add. Um, while I'm thinking about that, I kind of get stuck. <laughs> and so I decided to go in with some more of these wood veneer hearts. Um, I'm going to create a visual triangle with those two, but I, I really think that adds a lot of warmth into these very light and airy layouts. I just wanted something to help ground it a little bit. <laughs> so the raw wood veneer, I think, does that for me. Um, but now I'm working on this little cluster. I'm thinking I'll just add two word stickers coming out from the right of this frame. I'll glue the star onto the frame and stick that at the top of the page. And that will just be my final cluster. And I really think that helps balance the whole page. So I'm just trying to figure out what pieces I want to use. A lot of these words go really, really well for wedding without being wedding, which I think is nice. But there are several of them that are more craft related or are not related to wedding at all. So I'm trying to just pick which ones I think I can use and they'll make sense. So I go with the one that says from the heart and another one that says a dream come true, which I think is sweet. Um, that is my brother that's walking me down the aisle. He just retired from the military. So big congrats to him. But he retired as a captain um, and is now in DC working with the Pentagon. So I think that's really awesome. <laughs> he already had a lot of people who kind of wanted to work with him once he retired. So he's back home from Germany now. He's living in DC in a really cool apartment. He said he can see the Capitol building from his uh, window, which I think is awesome. Um, and so I, I, I'm glad, I'm happy for him. But I did just want to mention that that is him walking me down the aisle. Um, and that's why he's all decked out in his military uniform. I really didn't want our groomsmen or, um, it's really just my brother and our best man that were our groomsmen. But I didn't want them to have to buy suits because they were both military. So I just told them to wear their dress blues because I'm proud of them. And I feel like they might as well show off. So um, he looks so handsome. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much what the photos are about. I got my last cluster down. I'm just gluing down those last wood veneer pieces. Uh, I did add one word sticker down to that floral cluster underneath the photos just because I wanted to sneak in one, one more word sticker. So that one says uh, beauty that shines like the like a beacon, which I felt weird putting on a page of myself. <laughs> um, but also I'm like, you know what? It's my wedding day and I felt beautiful. So I'm doing it. <laughs> um, so I'm getting that word sticker down and then I'm pretty sure I'm done. I got all of my scrap five elements. 
Um, I, I'm really happy. I pulled in what I could with the vellum and using those packaging pieces. So here are the close-ups. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you check out everyone else playing along with Scrap 5. They will be linked in the description. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.